Hi everyone, so I've gone and bought myself a tank. I went online first to look at uh, some reviews of tanks and I caught a few inbox reviews of this one. So that's why I picked it. And I'm not gonna do any inbox review because there's quite a few out there already. Nicely detailed kit, relatively new tooling. Separate track links. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna cope with that. We shall see. Um, weathering wise, that's why I want to start on some tanks. I want to practice my weathering skills. I don't know how this is going to end up. Uh, well, let's find out and uh, see what happens. So what I've done is I've cut and cleaned so many parts already. Uh, a couple of stages there. So I can just bang straight on now and I've cleaned the parts up. So there you have two stages done in uh, minutes. Just leave that to dry. And then I'll do the same. I'll cut another two stages out and then bang on with that. Now I've got another two stages uh, cut out. I can assemble those. There we are. Four stages done. And then I'll do 
clean up uh, stages uh, five and six, the parts, and keep doing this. So that's another two stages attached. I'm just gonna leave it now for half an hour, an hour, just to set before I continue on with this. Uh, I'll attach the wheels and the bogies and any other bits that need adding to the body. The tracks I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I may leave them off and paint them separately. Um, I don't know yet. The turret will be treated in the same way. Uh, that will treat as a separate uh, assembly. So hopefully by the end of today, I'll have the body, most of the body and most of the turret all assembled. Uh, bits like the ancillaries like exhaust, shovels, uh, things like that will be left off and painted separately. So hopefully when we come back, we'll see a finished body and a finished turret assembled. So I've got as far as I want to with the hull and as far as I want to with the turret. I've cleaned the wheels up and I've started to assemble the uh, bogies. I shall put those assemblies onto the body but I'll leave the wheels off because I'll paint them separately. So I've given a base coat of hull red only because I've got quite a few jars of it uh, lying around. The next was Tamiya's Desert Yellow mixed with 20 to 30% uh, flat white and then that's applied. After that was applied I sealed the surface with a, a gloss coat. Next up the tracks. Right let's just talk about the Tamiya tracks. This is what you get, this is just one side. Yeah lovely. Personally I want my vinyl tracks, one piece and I can paint it all in one go. Now what I've done, and I think they suggest in the instructions, it's going to be all that crap, is to build it into bigger assemblies, which is what I've done here. So you can see all the little uh, individual ones. I fitted them round, I've laid them flat, added a bit of glue, just to tack them in place, take them to the wheel, forced it round. These are still flexible, I didn't want to fix them too much, so they are a bit delicate, but just to give me a, a shape. So, once attacked, put them around there to give it the shape, leave it there for a half an hour just to firm up, and then uh, take it off. Did the same for the sprocket side. I put the wheels on to do these. I think there's one, two, three, four, there's five segments on this piece. Put the wheels on, match it up against the wheels, put the segments in, bit of glue, left it like that just to set for a bit and then take it off. Now there's still a bit of give thankfully so it doesn't have to be 100% but I'm still left with six pieces to paint individually before I glue them on. There's no other way without it getting a bit too tricky. I mean, it's going to be tricky anyway, even those pieces. So I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> to uh, painting these and winding them individually and hopefully uh, it will all come together. So I'll get on with that. So now that all the wheels have been painted, I shall add them to the tank either side. I'll use PVA glue to add the wheels just in case I have to pull them off for whatever reason. Don't see why I should, but uh, just... Uh, a safety measure. I've painted the uh, segmentated tracks. I use Vallejo um, metal colour and give it a dark wash and wipe it off. So both sides are done. I've still got to clean the inside there between the teeth because that'll be a spot that uh, will be reasonably clean and then the fun part of adding these uh, pieces to the tank and it'll either go with no problem or it would be quite fiddly I shall let you know. One side of the track's done and it was fiddly and I did have issues I started with the top track as they say and it's not equal I think it's uh, 18 tracks in from that side and 17 links, sorry, from this side to fit on that lug on the middle wheel there. 
Then I use this smooth track and then this bottom piece here. And everything's going swimmingly until I came to the sprocket. And I should have fit that first maybe or second and worked the other way around because it's easy to correct with this smooth wheel. So I came to the sprocket and ended up breaking it into three parts because um, it just doesn't slide on. You've got this uh, top piece here that gets in the way. So I'm going to leave that to set now. But be very careful because it's easily knocked. It is a very delicate piece of track, whereas vinyl will be a bit more robust and a, a lot easier, a lot more durable. So it works, but there seem to it seems to be a lot more effort than it uh, should be. So I let that set, as I've just said, and then I'll flip it round and Joy or Joys will do the other side, making sure that I'm not gonna knock any of this off, <laughs> which is gonna be hard. Right, for this other side, I thought I'd approach the track a slightly different way as the other way I did didn't work. There's six, there were six um, pieces of track. I've narrowed it down to four now. Those two little bits I've tacked on and glued them on roughly to what I think angle they might be. So what I'm going to do next is put the sprocket one in first. Slide in this top piece. Now, trick here is trying to find that centre bit again. So I've just put it on that side and weighed it down with then a bit of super glue on these bottom tracks so it seats properly. And in theory, it should join up. I thought this would be an easy way of doing it, but it's taken out twice as long and just as messy. Although in theory, this should be easier, but it hasn't been. So, Well, <laughs> that was a struggle, for me anyway. It does work, it's very well engineered, it all fits, but it's just fiddly. Uh, fiddly and messy and yeah. There you go, what do I know? So let that uh, set and rest and we can get on uh, attaching all the ancillary parts, shovels, picks, things like that. So I finished my tank. Um, love building it. Uh, I love the way you just cut the parts off, a little bit of cleaning and just assemble it all. Took no time whatsoever. So much better than making airplanes, filling in gaps, 
finding those seams so they're seamless, unless it's a Tamiya Mosquito. I struggle with the tracks, which I knew I would do. Wash-wise, I've used the uh, Flory's Dark Dirt and uh, a custom mixture I messed around with, which is just uh, watercolour paints with a bit of fairy liquid and then diluted with water to how strong and weak I wanted the mixture. Wiped off and then dry brush with Tamiya Deck Tan just to bring out the highlights. I haven't weathered the tank too much. Um, it's a bit alien to me at the moment. What I would like to do for the next project is a European tank where I can go to town maybe on it, be brave for me, and use oils this time. Oils are a lot richer in colour. Um, I was going to use oils on this and decided to back off because uh, I've still got quite a big learning curve. So I hope you like the picture. I shall take some still photographs. Thank you for watching the video and uh, I hope to see you for the next one. See you later.